everyone, welcome back to the channel. We have another gloomy December day and whenever winter starts to set in, that's just the way it goes. And that's fishing in general. You can't always show highlight reels of like the best days, especially whenever you're a full-time YouTuber. So for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome to MDLR Fishing. We're gonna go out there and fish the surf, but first we gotta go out and catch us some bait. I hope this is gonna work out because if it doesn't, then we're gonna be subjected to fishing artificials. And normally whenever that happens, uh, I have to work exceptionally hard to even present y'all with any type of a catch. So let's see what happens. Let's get out there. We've got a one hour update y'all. The surf, it's really clean, but there hasn't been any bites at all. Got just one hour to fish right over here before I've got to make my way back down the jetty. There's a break down there that's three and a half foot deep and I've got to get across it before the tide starts to come back in. So hopefully we'll get a bite. We've, we're using that fresh mullet and uh, yeah, nobody. I started over there with where all the other guys are, but there was no bites on that end as well so uh, decided to try to come down here and see what we can do that's it y'all that's my alarm to hurry up and get back across them rocks we've been out here for over an hour after dead low tide no bites at all so I gotta get back across them rocks before something bad happens. Feel a lot comfortable once we uh, get across all this nastiness, but yeah, I timed it perfectly to be able to get through this. are safe and sound Whew, man that gives me the heebie-jeebies well now it's just a uh, kind of like a hurry up and wait game until the tide actually comes all the way in and gives us a little bit deeper water to work with hopefully the uh, the fish are gonna come right back out I'm gonna keep my mullet head soaking in the water and uh, just hope for the best all right y'all i have one hour left and not one bite on the fresh cut mullet we're gonna take this stuff home freeze it for the next time that we uh, hit the 
pier, jetty, surf, whatever it is that we decide to do, this piece is going back out into the drink. I'm gonna spend my last hour casting and uh, we'll see what the artificial shrimp can do. But yeah, uh, very, very surprising that we didn't get anything. Man, that kind of hurts. Come out here, hopeful. But uh, I guess that just goes with the territory whenever you're in a learning pattern trying to figure out how to do the whole surf fishing thing. Oh, wait a minute, I need this rod. <laughs> All right, my hands are just about numb. It's like 63 degrees, something like that. And uh, yeah, I can barely feel them. All right, this is gonna be the last cast. And that's gonna be it for the surf side. <clears throat> the surf side. We've been going at it for quite some time and yeah, just there's nothing out here right now. And if they are, well, they don't want dead bait, fresh dead, or artificials. But my guess, you can't catch what's not here. Do it. I know when to call it quits. Actually, I don't. I stayed out here an additional two hours and uh, didn't really, <laughs> did not really have anything to show for it. Oh man, talk about a, a bummer of a day. But when you think about it, this is fishing right here. You could bypass my channel and go watch other channels that only show highlight reels because that's the only time that they post. Or you can watch something that's you know almost true to life and you take the good with the bad so definitely one of those bad days of fishing that you don't get not one bite but they happen and that's just that's life and that's why it's called fishing right i hate that saying uh oh i think we got something you have got to be kidding me. Oh, <laughs> look who just bit my little flounder friend. Come here, buddy. We got to put you back out there to where you can survive. All right, let's get you off. Holy moly. Seriously, almost at the end of the jetty or the start of it. And this guy, oh, thank goodness. I am, I've never been so happy to see one of these fellas. And there he goes. Holy cow, y'all. Man, of all places too. I think I've covered every square inch all the way down that jetty. And right there, we make it happen by just bouncing this fella right off that bottom. Yes. Another one. Whoa, 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 buddy. Hey, 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 chill. Chill out. Let me let me get you back inside the water. Don't run from the Lord. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Man, Woo catching all these fellas from the nursery making me boost that confidence. <laughs> God, it's got me feeling so darn good. I'm telling y'all what, I will take anything over a skunk and I don't care. I've heard the comments on my other videos whenever I'm fishing this side and catching the little fellas. You just can't catch big ones all the time. And the fact that you're not going home without catching something is just an amazing feeling. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Another one. It's like the bite just turned on. All right, I'm gonna need you to just open that mouth really quick. There we go. 
That's going to do it, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate each and every one of you, especially on videos like this where it is just super tough fishing and uh, my hardcore dedicated audience. Y'all, I am very grateful for each and every one of you. And uh, there's no need for me to say if you enjoy the video, then click the thumbs up button. Also, please subscribe because I'm pretty sure all those fellas have already left. And... Uh, yeah, I've got just you all. So again, thank you so much. This is me giving you the thumbs up. I really appreciate y'all. And until next time, tight lines.